Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to this channel, Being Physio. Today is the last lecture of our topic Acid Base Disorders and ABG VBG Interpretation. I hope after watching this last lecture, uh, you will be able to interpret ABG VBG investigation and diagnose various acid base disorders. For the sake of convenience, I have divided this interpretation of ABG in several steps. There are total five steps in this interpretation and we will start with the step number one. Step number one is, is there any acid base disorder? For this, you have to look at bicarbonate HCO3 and PaCO2. If both are within their normal range, if they are in, in their normal range, then it means that there is no acid-base disorder. Or in critically sick patients, rule out mixed disorders. You are aware of their normal range. For bicarbonate, it is 22 to 26 milli equivalents per liter. And for PaCO2, it is 35 to 45 millimeter of mercury. If they are in their normal range, then it may indicate that there is no acid base disorder or it can be a mixed disorder which I will tell you later on in the step number 5. So if they are abnormal then follow the step number 2nd. What is step number 2nd? Step 2nd. Step 2nd tells you determine the pH. pH. I have told you earlier pH means potency the hydrogen, the power of hydrogen and concentrations. pH will tell you whether the, uh, there is acidosis or there is alkalosis. If there is acidosis, that means your pH is less than, you know, normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. If it is less than 7.35, if it is less than 7.35, that means the patient is in acidosis. If the pH is greater than 7.45, that means the patient is in alkalosis. patient is in alkalosis so so this is step number second now after going through step number second you have to follow the step number third what is step four third step number third you have to determine the primary acid base disorder determine the primary acid base disorder Determine the primary acid base disorder. You know there are four basic primary acid base disorders. If there is acidosis, acidosis is of two types. You know it can be a metabolic acidosis, it can be a respiratory acidosis. Res metabolic acid acidosis means that there is the HCO3 concentration is decreasing. Respiratory acidosis means PaCO2 concentration is increasing. This is the respiratory acidosis. And there can be alkalosis. Alkalosis. And again, alkalosis is of two types. There can be metabolic alkalosis. 
metabolic alkalosis there can be a respiratory alkalosis in metabolic alkalosis bicarbonate hco3 is increasing and in the respiratory alkalosis pacco2 is decreasing these are the four basic primary acid base disorders you in step number 3 you have to determine which one is the what is the change which is the primary acid base disorder whether it this is uh, metabolic acidosis or it is respiratory acidosis or uh, it is Uh, metabolic alkalosis or it is respiratory alkalosis after this you have to follow the step number 4 what is step 4 step number 4 you have to uh, calculate the expected compensation expected compensation expected compensation how is it calculated i have there is a detailed video video uh, lecture number second of acid base disorders by using those formula which I, i have given you in that video you will calculate the expected compensation now if actual compensation if actual compensation matches with the if actual compensation matches with the expected compensation expected compensation that means it is the primary acid base disorder in step 4 you have to remember if actual compensation which is on actual compensation which is on abg if this matches with the expected compensation which you will calculate through formulas then formula if they, these two match each other then it means it is the primary acid base disorder once you have gone through step number 4 you have to shift to step number 5 uh we are about to finish our lecture this is the last step step number 5 step number 5 what is step number 5 in step number 5 you will determine the mixed disorder mixed acid base disorder only two things you have to remember in this step number 5 whether the change is in same direction whether it follows the uh, rule of same direction rule of same direction i have already uh, told you uh, introduced you about the rule of same direction you know there are two parameters hco3 pacco2 up yield is up down yield is down you have to remember if bicarbonate increases this has to increase If PaCO2 decreases, this has to decrease. This is rule of same direction. If they are in same direction, then it means it is the primary acid base disorder. If they are in opposite direction, it increases, it will decrease. It will decrease, it will increase. If the opposite direction, that means this is the mixed disorder. Second, second thing. In step number five, after checking the change. Uh, Uh, whether it follows the rule of same direction then you have to move to the step num uh, sub step of the step number 5 that is the uh, compensation if if actual compensation is more or less more or less than the calculated if actual compensation that is compensation of a b g if that is more or less than the calculated through formula if actual compensation is more or less than the calculated formula then again that indicates it is a mixed disorder mixed disorder sometimes you will come across some a b g where every parameter is normal there doesn't seem any acid base a disorder any change in any parameter for example your ph will be in normal range your bicarbonate will be in normal range pacco2 will be in normal range then 
in such a case, the only clue to the acid base disorder is your anion gap. Anion gap. Here you will only remember the formula for anion gap. Anion gap is equal to sodium minus chloride plus bicarbonate. This is the anion gap. This is a separate lecture. I will soon upload another video on anion gap. Anion gap. Now you are only left with one concept that is anion gap. And I have assembled, I have uh, assembled some ABG investigations and will demonstrate them separately along with anion gap by another concept in another video. I think this is enough for uh, today. Thank you.